The Space Force is preparing for liftoff. Vice President Mike Pence announcing a new branch of the U.S. military. Joining me now to react is my son's hero, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He is famed astrophysicist and author of the brand new book, Accessory to War. Thank you for joining us. What's your reaction to this? Do you think that this is the right idea or is it science and space better left in the hands of private hands like Elon Musk and yourself? Well, the concept of a space force is not new. Um, and plus, as a, as, a, as a thing to do, we've done something like this before. You might remember, no, you wouldn't remember, but you might have read that during the Second World War, the Army had a branch of itself called the Army Air Force. And once we learned that this theater of operations, this sphere of operations, had fundamentally different needs, different training, different technologies, uh, different personnel required to operate in that in that space, if you will. Uh, the Air Force then uh, split away from the Army and became its own branch. So this n need is in response to the fact that space, uh, in particular cislunar space, that's a sort of new word for many people, that's space between Earth and the Moon, to the extent that we conduct business in space, activities in space, uh, we have billions of dollars worth of assets in space. Generally, one of the tasks of the military is not only to fight wars, but to protect your assets. So uh, in that sense, this idea is not completely crazy. And yeah. it's been around for a while. So what do you think the mission should be? It sounds like you're in favor of it. Do you like the idea? Do you like the way it's being rolled out? I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. I know that there are some military folk in the Air Force who were perfectly content being the umbrella to the U.S. Space Command. So all space activities right now are under the Air Force. And so um, generally I'm not one to second guess generals, yeah. uh, but the, the, the extent that if we make a space force, what I'd like to do is add a couple of things to its portfolio. For example, why don't you check out asteroids to see if one has our name on it and could render us extinct. And don't just tell us that we will become extinct, do something about it. Right now, there is no plan in place anywhere in the world to protect us against killer asteroids or the threat of a space debris that could interfere with commerce, interfere with any other kind of operation. And by the way, space has been militarized ever since we sent intercon we, the world, we and the Soviet Union sent yeah. intercontinental ballistic missiles through it. ICBMs use space to get to their destination. And then we had reconnaissance satellites So, in the service of the military. Space has, we've been in space for 50 yeah. years, 60 years. And so um, this would simply be a, 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 a bureaucratic addition to the U.S. government. Yeah. I might think that's odd given that it's coming under a Republican administration who like to shrink government. That's a point not often discussed. But the fact is, if that can help focus those activities, I don't see a problem with it. But you have to ask, there are other frontiers that are rising up. For example, cyber. Should there be a cyber force? All right? The conduct of war is changing. Yeah. Uh, and, and so uh, that could open some conversations that uh, needed to be had okay. over these past decades. I wish we had more time, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.